Well, a young entrepreneur has her sights on opening a new business in Easttown. And Fox 17's Janice Allen joining us now with more on those plans tonight. Janice? Yeah. Taylor, Kyle, uh, so she started thinking about opening up her own spots last year when her parents opened up a new sports bar in Wyoming. The pandemic may have delayed her plans just a bit, but it's not stopping her from getting her dreams off the ground. It's, it's a lot of pressure and it's is very stressful. 17 year old Taylor Kyle isn't talking about the typical challenges you might face in high school. It's a lot of eyes on me because considering like I am young and this is it's not something typical to have like a cereal bar in um, Grand Rapids. Thais Kentwood Sr. is on track to graduate and open up her own business in 2021. The East Town Cereal Cafe is currently being renovated, but it sits on a prime spot on Wealthy Street, complete with a walk-up window. So actually, I had got the idea um, from like the California area in New York. I have seen some, I've seen some places like this and I was like, that's pretty cool. And that's just like something like you don't see a lot. Taylor says expect lots of popular cereals. You could get your like typical cereals like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Captain Crunch, things like that. Along with other breakfast favorites like bagels, grits and coffee. And the idea is already getting some buzz. A couple of people stop me in public and say, oh my God, are you open the cereal bar? That is so exciting. The pandemic has pushed back the opening, but Taylor is still pushing forward. It is really nerve wracking and everything, but it's, it's pretty fun. And she has this to say to other young entrepreneurs. If you're a young, um, a young person who's looking for like motivation and do what you want to do, just go with it and don't don't hold yourself back on anything because you have the full potential to become somebody greater than you can ever expect because you never want to lower your standards. You always want to be on top of everything. So Taylor says they're now hoping to open up in January. Originally, they were set to open up in late November. Uh, get this, though, Derek, all of this while she's still trying to figure out where she wants to go to college. She says if she does leave the state for school, her mother will take over the business while she's away. Very ambitious young lady. Derek, back to you. And of course, cereal isn't just for breakfast anymore. You got to love it, Janice. Best of luck to her. Move on.